Chrissy, played by Lauren Grace, has been a regular face on Casualty over the past few months as she struck up a romance with fellow paramedic, Ian, Michael Stevenson. The relative newcomer to the BBC medical drama is petrified something is going to happen to her partner and she has found it increasingly difficult to contemplate him putting himself in harm's way. However, when Ian decides to ignore her pleas in upcoming scenes on the television drama, he could force her to pack up her bags and leave Holby City for good. The drama begins as Chrissy discovers Ian has been hiding a map of all the farms in the local area where modern-day slavery could be happening. This is a storyline which began a few weeks ago when the paramedic found a man in the water and discovered he had come into the country in the back of a lorry. Believing Ian could be in serious danger, Chrissy asked him not to pursue a lead on this and she is devastated to learn he didn't listen to her. Wanting him to be safe, she reports her other half to his boss. Jan Jennings, debaucher, as she thinks this could make him stop. However, it's not too long before Jan is offering up some information Ian needs to complete his mission to find the base of modern-day slavery. This comes when Jan is called out to a farm to attend to a patient called Minnie, whose partner explained it has been difficult to keep things running there. Although he is keen to sell up shop, Minnie is reluctant to as she promised her father she would keep it in the family when she inherited it. As they continue to bicker, the patient's partner comments on how well their neighbor's farm is doing, considering how many workers they have and would need to pay. Knowing this could be what Ian is looking for, Jan calls him and the paramedic soon rushes to the scene where he makes a discovery. Ignoring Chrissy and heading to the farm, Ian is escorted off the premises by some men who clearly don't want him there. As Hess leaving, he notices a young woman is in the back of a van which is being driven onto the farm and he decides he needs to investigate further. His lead takes him inside the massive grain silo and when he ventures inside, he is horrified to realize the door has been closed behind him. Suddenly, it becomes a battle to save his life as he tries to breathe within the grain which is continuing to pile up. Luckily, he manages to call Chrissy to come and find him and when she arrives, she pulls her partner to safety. Not just as Chrissy does this, the National Crime Agency arrive and stops all production on the farm as they carry out their investigation. As Ian is still distracted by the matter at hand, he doesn't realize how furious his partner is with him or how panicked she is. When the day finally ends, Ian is ready to go home but he is confronted by a distraught Chrissy who has some news for him. The paramedic gives her partner back his house keys and tells him it is best if they break up as she can't sit and wait for him to put himself in danger again. Ian doesn't take this seriously as he believes it to be a joke but Chrissy tells him this is the truth. How well do you know your British soaps? How many times has Ian Beale been married in EastEnders? What is the name of Bianca Jackson and Ricky Butcher's son on EastEnders? On EastEnders in 2002, who accidentally ran Jamie Mitchell over in his car which caused his death. How many times has Corey's Steve McDonald been married? What happened to Emily Bishop in Coronation Street? Who murdered Maxine Peacock in Coronation Street in 2003? Question mark which incident in 1993 killed off four characters in Immerdale? When did the show stop being known as Immerdale Farm? On what day did Holly Oaks air its first episode? What was the name of the much-loved Coronation Street pet dog who was put down in April 2020 after 14 years? Question mark 1996 saw the arrival of one of Holly Oaks' all-time bad boys and rival of Kurt Benson, but who was he? Who is the longest-serving character on Coronation Street? Who shot Phil in these tenders? 
How many buyers have there been at Corey's Rover's return? Get out of my pub, you're no soaps fan you're either too young to remember the big lines or have better things to do on weekday evenings casual viewer you watch them sometimes so you kinda know what's been going on die hard fan you love watching the soaps so much your entire week is planned around when they air the paramedic is left heartbroken that his mission has led to the end of his relationship but he carries on regardless of the consequences. Unfortunately. Chrissy breaking up with Ian might not be enough distance between the two as she will continue to worry about him. Knowing she needs to get as far away from Holby as possible, Chrissy could decide to begin a new chapter of her life abroad. This way, she would be able to cut all contact with Ian and any thoughts of him getting hurt would soon dissipate. But knowing she could be the love of his life, will Ian wake up and realize he is making a huge mistake by losing Chrissy? In real life, the actors who play Chrissy and Ian, Lauren and Michael respectively, are a couple and the latter has spoken out about working with his other half. The actor explained, they want a new love interest for Ian and they racked their brains with who they could possibly cast to do that. So guess who they brought in? My wifey. With us all still filming at 2 meter distances, putting us two together means they don't have to put us into bubbles because we're already in a bubble and we can get close and do, sort of, more intimate scenes, 